<coughs> okay. <coughs> As you can see, I got a good fire going there now. Got the, the wood stoves all empty of ashes and stuff. There's the fire. And lots of smoke. This thing does make a lot of smoke. But as you can see, it is boiling my water as well. So that's a good thing. Anyway, it's time now to start um, putting... I got to get a funnel. I forgot the funnel I did. I did. Anyway, yeah. So anyway, I made a post on Facebook there... Uh, they were kind of roasting me because they did a stupid thing and I put the, said that the porcupine is a raccoon, which, I don't know why I did that, I kind of slipped up, I guess, but, like I say, because I'm too proud to admit that I made a mistake, I made up a story, <laughs> cover it. Actually, what it really was is a guy made a comment and he wasn't very nice about it, he basically told me that I'm an idiot for thinking a porcupine and a raccoon are the same thing. And so that's why I, I'm, I'm a smart ass. And that sometimes gets me into trouble, but I made a story up where I said that the raccoon was the go-between and that um, basically the cat didn't, the cat wanted to get revenge on the guy for kicking it all the time and the raccoon was the go-between because the cat didn't really know the forest creatures, but of course the raccoon does. And so the raccoon, uh, the cat used the raccoon to... Um, you know, to touch, basically to reach out to the um, porcupine, to get the porcupine to agree to help, to um, to get revenge on this guy for kicking the cat all the time. And so, <coughs> and then it changed, the uh, raccoon was going, to, for being the go-between, the raccoon is going to get um, uh, unfettered access to the garbage cans in the backyard for a month. Which at this time of the year is pretty good because there'll be lots of Christmas leftovers and stuff. So that was the story I told anyway. So I'm getting roasted a little bit now on Facebook for doing that, which is kind of funny. But anyway, um, <laughs> well, that's why I say it's because I'm an asshole. I'm too proud to admit that I'm wrong. So I told another lie. and <laughs> I told a lie to cover my mistake and now I'm paying for it, I guess. <laughs> kind of funny people are really serious on facebook sometimes i'll tell you and you whatever you do anyway do not um never confuse a possum a nah, possum i keep saying possum i keep bringing possums into it now for some reason never confuse a um a raccoon and a uh, porcupine people on facebook do not like that and you will be told trust me when i tell you you will be told Voice of experience here. <laughs> oh, it's just funny, that's all. I should really have gotten these out before, but I didn't. So that's another gaffe on my part today. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm... I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm enjoying reading the comments anyway, though. It is kind of funny. Some people appreciate my sense of humor, but others don't. And the ones who don't are... Uh, pretty upset with me anyway <laughs> anyway I'm sticking to my story it's a lie that didn't actually happen the raccoon wasn't even involved but uh, still I'm going to say that the raccoon was the go-between because that way I don't have to admit that I made a mistake and that's the main thing is that I don't have to take responsibility for my mistakes that's what matters to me more than anything. So, anyway, here we go now. Let's see now, put this over here. Everything's kind of harder when you're living this way, I'll tell you. All right, let's get going here. We'll put the stuff in here. I gotta add more wood to my fire too. My fire's starting to go out. If I let it go out, I'll have issues. Alright, there we go now. Anyway, that's the story there. I gotta do my second, um, my second thing of water here. Rocky's inside having a sleep. And, uh, it's like mid-afternoon or late afternoon, so of course he has to sleep. 
friend of mine came and took me into town today to get propane, so that was very kind of her. Especially because she's quite busy today, and she took time out of her schedule to do that for me, so I'm appreciative of that. And, uh, saved me a little bit of hardship anyway, walking in the town with the wheelbarrow. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. put that in there so it's looking like um, it's looking like I won't uh, I need to stick this right into the embers here and get get some of these small ones burning here because I've let it go down too far oh holy smokes they're shooting at us see that now it's coming back up again <laughs> I'm sticking these right into the fire here <laughs> 